Hello guys, this is one more question from Gate 2022, question number 26, and it says for a material that undergoes strain hardening, necking instability occurs during tensile testing when, and we have different conditions given. So, what is this necking instability criteria? Okay, so necking instability criteria is uh, nothing but where we can say that necking is going to happen or necking is going to just start right and of course from the stress strain curve if you remember necking will start after uts hence this particular necking instability criteria will start satisfying from the uts point okay and it is nothing but d sigma by d epsilon is equal to sigma this is called the necking instability criteria and of course from this we can deduce more and more uh, relation one of that is epsilon is equal to n how can we do it so this is very easy you know from the power law sigma is equal to k into epsilon power n and from here d sigma by d epsilon is what is equal to k into n into epsilon power n minus 1 correct this is what is a simple differentiation is and this is again equal to sigma from the current criteria right so that means i can write this is k into epsilon power n is equal to k into n into epsilon power n minus 1 so if you carefully observe what is happening k gets cancelled this is getting cancelled and what you are remaining is with epsilon power minus 1 into n is equal to 1 and if you just reciprocate epsilon this is what you'll be getting so this is one more way of writing the same instability criteria okay so the option is c d sigma by d epsilon is equal to sigma is the answer so that's it i hope you understood the next instability criteria i will meet again in the next video thank you guys